Hello, Sunit Instructor here again, John Mandula with another screencast. This one picking up where we left off in After Effects. So I've imported three different assets, two video assets and the JPEG into my project panel. And I've taken the JPEG and brought it down here and I've trimmed it down. Um, and I can, of course, extend that, you know what I mean, or trim it or extend it however I want. Um, so I've got that. Now let's say I want to put some video footage. So what I might want to do is take see, is this the footage that I want? Uh, double click, anyway, close this. So I can take this and I can bring it down here. It shows up another layer. And I don't want it to start until after this is done at this five second mark. So what I do is I just take the whole thing. So instead of trimming from the edges, so I don't want to trim yet. So I take the whole thing and bring it over to right there. Okay, so now when it goes from here, to there, I'll see this, okay? So that's what I want. Now let's say I don't really want it to see it until about there, all right, there. Then what I could do is then I hover over the left side and trim it to there. And you might notice it's kind of like, this is kind of like a faded green color or whatever. That's showing you there's footage starting at that point, but we're not gonna view it until there, okay? So that's kind of like a reminder to you that After Effects provides you with. And so the footage is good here. And let's say I want to stop it right before camera guy comes in. So then I'm going to trim it back this way. And again, this is just a reminder that there's more footage there if I want to go back and show that footage. Okay, so now what we're going to see is this graphic for five seconds and then this quick stuff. And then maybe I want to have the next thing, <clears throat> which is a guy talking, kind of interview style. Take that footage, bring it down here. Again, this layer is very much like um, Photoshop or Illustrator. And again, I want to move this so it doesn't start until after that point. Okay. I'm not going to worry so much about trimming the back end of it. So if I hit play or hit play it by hitting the space bar, you can see that it's going to go through there. And then it shows me that. Then it shows me that. Now when you're working, you might notice, see how it's like growing this green line and stuff like that? That means it's rendering it. It hadn't rendered it before that point yet. So it might go really slow. So one thing you can do to help with that is if you don't really want to be bothered, so to speak, by the fact that it's rendering, it's trying to do the best it can to give you um, a good rendition of it. So it's often going to go slowly the first time, and then it'll zip through quickly at normal speed, I should say, after that. One thing you do, help you, you don't probably need to see every single detail all the time. Um, we can set this as something like third. Uh, that's a little bit too much, maybe half. So the resolution isn't as good, but that's okay because we're focusing on more about just the editing, like what's coming next, what's coming next, what's coming next, things like that. Um, so what you can do is just do that. So now I'm going to hit spacebar. It should go a little bit smoother. Um, again, at least the first time through. So I'm not really worried about the resolution. I know the resolution of the files are good, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to see how things are going. Um, and you'll notice that I don't hear anything right now by default, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing is, in the spacebar isn't always the best way to kind of preview what your video is like. We have over here in your preview panel, um, with all these different, you know, it looks like play and skip track buttons and those kinds of things. There's one called RAM preview. So if you click RAM preview, um, it kind of like zips it super hyper speed through it once, and then it's going to try to give you as best it can, you know, according to the resolution that we had set over here. It, well, it, it's, it, uh, audio. it takes a lot of work, and, and it's something, so you know, like nice, I said, right? I've been doing it for a really long time. There's a button over here you can click on as well, as far as whether you want it muted or not. So that's muted, obviously. This is what it's like, this is not muted. Again, I would strongly suggest using RAM preview more often than just hitting the space bar and hitting play. Um, you can see that's well, it's, uh, it takes like a lot that. of work, and, and so it's something, good. you know, so like I said. space bar and stop it right there. So, again, when you hit RAM preview the very first time, if you know what I mean, it's rendered, so there's not that green line there, it might go through at really rapid pace. Don't freak out. It's just trying to, like, gather as much data as it can, information. So when it spits it back to you nicely, um, so as soon as it's done doing that really quick through, then it'll come at an actual speed or as close to actual speed as it can, and you'll see little warnings if it can.